Hello, this is the other guy, and welcome back to Distraint. Distraunt? Whatever. Uh, welcome back to uh, Spooky Side Scroller. Now, last time, uh, there's a doggo. And the dog does not want to come to us because he's chewing on a fox and it's all bleh. So we are going to go back to the house and hopefully find him a treat or something. Um, because I guess that's what you do in one of these scenarios. You got a bunch of gasoline too. I don't know what to do with the gasoline. It's kind of random. We did find his dog. I mean, talk to him once. Yeah, I mean, like, my, my reaction would be like, yo, your dog's out there eating a fox. And it's like really blood and guts. And I'm like, random city dude. And that shit is like, no. And you'd be like, oh, okay. And wander over and be like, oh, there's my dog. So bad, smells oddly horrible. Okay. Where would, I, where would I get a treat? Maybe the kitchen. It doesn't have electricity, though. That's another question. Uh, okay. That's dog food. That's what I need, though. Well, okay. I don't know what to do with this. Do you want some gasoline, dude? Let's use the power of the compressor. Where's the compressor? Oh, it's in the basement, isn't it? That would be my guess, you know what I mean? Okay, that's washing machine. Fill the compressor with gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. All right. Let's save again. I don't know what that did though. Like, what the purpose of that is? Oh, we could have just walked back downstairs and done it that way. Okay, so I turn the power on. Maybe the power gives me access to something specific. Talk to one of the stuff. Okay. Okay. Washing machine. Oh, I'm a dummy. Because the washing machine would have socks in it or something. Again, why I wouldn't be able to just cars on there. Let's see. I just opened it. And okay, what? No, why? Oh god, why? What the fuck is all this? Something inside. It's a glove. Got scared for a moment. It's already washed, so to speak. Okay. I was worried like my person was delusional and that was a dog. Was like, Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of violence against animals in video games just because it's like, I don't know, it's very, uh, which is weird because it's like, you know, I play games like Manhunt and it's like, do some really horrible shit and it's like, but you punch a dog, no, you can't do that. What are you even doing? Uh, I don't know. That might be just kind of ridiculous. But, you know. How can we do how to go? Uh! It's that freaking thing. This dog ain't gonna want a glove over. I love how the hat bobs back and forth. It puts me in the sense of, look at the hat. And I know it's just gonna. It's just waiting to distract me in order to. You know, get me real quick with it. Boy, doggo. Here you go. Smell this. Come here. Okay. There we go. What a good, good girl. Woof. Aww. Should go home. Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. Okay, we can't go any closer to the fox. Yeah, there's nothing we can do to help out at that point either, though. Oh, it's the freaking elephant! Oh, it's the bridge. What? Fox blood. Yeah, I would... It... So is the elephant real? How did... How did we get back? You found her. Thanks, kid. I send the papers. You can find them inside. I'll leave immediately. Feel easier that way. Farewell, sir. 
All right. You know what? Okay, I better get the papers. That's great. God, every time these guys throw me off. Howdy. Sudden. Good to see you. Uh, McDade, Burton, and more. Another job well done. Well done, well done. For a moment, I thought you were going soft. Well, I mean, we found his dog. Doing a favor for finding the lousy mutt seems like very nonsense. Okay. So it was kicked his worthless ass. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kick his ass, apparently. The, the dude who's, like, losing his fucking mind over all this. What are these things? I'm guessing they're, like, demons or something? I mean, it's like, next time you must remain strict. Okay. Understand. Do you now? Who would want to thank for great You know, sir, that's the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity. It reminds me of something of great importance. Alright. What's that? We get to see you dance. Uh, now dance, son. Yes, sir. You know, I feel called out by this. That. Oh, they all paused. That's exactly how I dance in real life. I don't dance. I just kind of nod or not nod, wave back and forth with the music. It's the widest possible thing I can do. I know, but you know. I can't tell if they like this or not. Yes, that's our okay. I apparently, like it. now faster. I can't. Is he going faster? I guess he is. Is it getting darker? Or am I imagining that? This is weird. This is weird, and I love it so far. It's very. I don't know. I can't quite follow. Oh, God. Saved. Okay, so last time I was talking about the fact of build rising tension, make the player think it's going to be fine with an ounce of comedy or levity or something like that, and then drop spooks on them. No, no. Hola. What are you? Okay. Um, I don't have any coffee to offer you, so I'm leaving. You don't appear to be much for conversation, so... I wouldn't offer the coffee, or the washing machine coffee anyway, but, okay. Oh, did she die in a rocking chair? Okay. I can't tell what that... How does it we just continue walking forward? I'm walking back the other way. I don't think I know there's nothing. Oh, a bunch of little old ladies. Hola. Okay. Oh, I'm moving in the different lanes. Okay. This is this is weird. This is weird. There's, there's a thing there. I fell down and couldn't get up. Oh no. That is a telephone. Okay, I can't do anything here. I can I? No? I think I hear footsteps though. Presumably someone's going to get the telephone. Or there's a Britain, the telly. Or no. No, the telly is a television. That's what they call the pun. Hello? Oh, I'm right here. Hola. Yes, this is Mr. Price speaking. Yeah, my name is Stewards. I'm sorry to ask you to bother you at such a late hour. What is this all about? It's Mr. G Mrs. Goodwin. No, you're not relative, but uh, afraid she has no one else. Asked me to call you. Said she had a stroke. Oh, God. Oh, how's she doing? Well, considering the series stroke, she's fine. She's in very bad spirits. Mind fells soon, the body will follow. Sorry to hear that. Yes. I don't know what to say. I understand. She asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you come consider visiting her in our care? I'm sure it mean to a lot to her. Yeah, why not? Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll bring a message to her. I'm sure she'll be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Then we, we kicked her out of her house, and then she 
build out. I don't know if we cause the stroke specifically. I don't know if strokes can be caused by like stress or something. I think they can. That sounds like that makes sense. I honestly have no idea. This is a very odd game. Uh, oh god. As a random note, hmm, what a nightmare. Oh shit, I don't miss good ones during. Maybe you should visit her for our own sake. Okay, uh, the thing I was gonna say, I've been playing the game a lot, and I don't know if I've uploaded those at the same time I'm uploading these. I'll suit up later. Uh... I, in Cola, it started out very spooky and tense, but then moved into surreal way too quickly. It was just like supernatural magic and the smoke monsters and all that. And I couldn't, like, I mean, it's kind of tense, but not enough was happening fast enough for me to care. Like, it's just, I'm on the third episode of it so far. It's kitchen sink. Um, uh, new coffee makers, deluxe 2000. One press of button is enough. No more fudging water for the weirdest places. Luxury, one could call it. Okay, let's go answer the telephone. No, who might that be? I don't know. Let's answer it. Um, hello, this is Price speaking, Mr. Price. This is Stuart speaking, calling for a nursing home in Bath and Goodwin. Is everything okay? She had a stroke. She's doing relatively fine. Yeah. Asked me to visit her. Press it, Mr. Price. Indeed. Mean the world to her. Could you please consider doing it? Yes, of course. I'll come see her. Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll let her know. Thanks for calling me. So we've become psychic. Uh, Cliff notes, the game seems very, like, very well done and, like, has a lot of atmosphere and all that, but it's just, like, I, I talked to somebody and apparently, uh, somebody else did, like, a big let's play of it, um, I don't remember who they said specifically did it, but they said it's entirely walking, so just get used to a lot of walking. So I'm like, oh no. Like, because the parts of it that are vaguely tense are kind of tense, but, like, the monster's not all that threatening, and I don't really understand what the dude's going on about. This started really real, and keeps dropping back into reality, and then, like, slipping out of it when I'm not paying attention. And it really is throwing me for a loop, and making things more tense and kind of spookier. Anyway, I'm gonna keep playing the game. Uh, my dreams of guilt are coming true. Howdy. Don't drink my coffee again. Oh, come on, guys! Seriously, I know y'all are ghosts. Wait a minute, this is a deluxe. Give me a second. Now I need to be patient. Oh. Well. Howdy. Ah, ha, ha. You're right, my dear. I'll never forget that day. Oh, look, it's our little boy. See that, hon? I should do a dad voice. Hey, son. Uh, you don't mind that we took some coffee, do you? Coffee tastes great this time. I know that's the mom. I'm just gonna do give them both the same voice. Not at all. Since you're here, I guess you have something important to tell me. That is correct, son. Seems you're still pursuing the riches. At the expense of others. What's your father trying to tell you? Is that you're losing yourself in the process. I'm gonna quit with that voice. I, no, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I think I know what you mean. I can't quit now. I'm so close to success. I mean, we've kicked out two people. We're gonna go visit some lady who had a stroke because of it. Maybe we should be kicking out, like, people, you know, who don't pay their rent until, like, not little old ladies. I mean, he had a one-room apartment. I mean, how much does that go for? Some places probably a lot. I don't know. I'm not really helping. I can't quit now. I'm so close to success. Anyway, but the point is, like, my life lesson for that sentence, don't be a dick to people. Anyway, uh, so close to success. How about Mrs. Goodwin? Or she's not doing so good. Too good. Don't you think she'd rather be at home? I know. I feel horrible for her. Maybe you would understand if you saw the consequences of your actions. Should go and see how Miss Goodwin's doing. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. I was already going. No, son, we do. We're only thinking about what's best for you. Sorry, I know that. See, you can be very compassionate, honey. God, that voice just... Like, I don't... <laughs> Is anyone home? Looking for Mr. Price. Oh, man, I'm losing my mind. Okay, focus. Drink coffee and suit up. Need to head straight. Okay. Coffee. Awesome. Damn good coffee. Okay, get dressed up and off. Saved. All right. Pay Miss Goodwin a visit. Hope she's okay. Okay, that was weird, but it was very interesting. I traveled with Miss Goodwin. I hated myself, but maybe if I confront her, I have peace of mind. Deception. It does not say reception. Hello. Is anyone there? I'm here to see Miss Goodwin. Speaking of service. I'm asleep. Okay. Now, I wanted these folks to show absent. 
Yeah, the TV is not even connected to anything. Ahem, can I get past, please? Now I'm going to sleep in my garage. Save before we head there. Yeah, this is. This is odd. Nursing home hallway. No way I can get past that. Yeah, we're already in a delusion or something. Oh, that's. Pulse this program. Better just leave it. Ooh, I will say I'm loving this so far. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes. I refuse. I shall not cook anything, no. Potatoes! I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, it, because I'm at my time mark for this video. But, also, just to leave you folks on these beautiful words, potatoes. Um, explanation point, question mark. Uh, until next time, this has been The Other Guy. Subscribe if you want to. If not, bye.